are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it in the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot three method to bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. Four Ladies years and apart, gentlemen, with some differences in height and a similar reach. To get us started the with the official introductions, here is the Bruce Buffett. Our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Richie Boy! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice head kick. Nice block and the follow-up counter with the jab. Ooh, blocks the shot. And he landed the right hand there. Lee gets 
caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Ooh, head kick lands. Hurt. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just misses there with the left. You got to whip his hip into that kick. Knee to the body, blocked. He loaded up there on that high kick. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Loaded up on that right hand, too. He is all about that left kick to the body. And they separate. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Wow, what a kick. Oh, straight right. Big ball to punch land. Now we'll get back in range. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Nice. Nice. There and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Liver kick. Oh, big left hook there. Continues to mix it up there with the head, mixing in some body shots. Big punch lands through the middle. Checks the leg kick. Leg kick. 30 seconds now. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. Round two straight ahead. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice punch there by Lee. Nice. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, big punch lands. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Oh! And now he lands a combination. Oh! Head kick. Huge shots there. Oh, straight right. Back to that left kick once again. Punch coming, it's blocked. Punch over the top. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Another shot lands upstairs. Ooh! Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind it. Uppercut lands for him. Fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe he's looking for a two more here. I mean, perfect liver shot. That is the most difficult shot in all of fighting. It is very difficult to recover from that. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Nice. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so a big round four in there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Ready. 
Third round underway. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Able to check the high kick. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is the technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Lee going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight ending intentions. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Beautiful strike. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. There it is. Take shot there it is. Blocks the strike. Kick now by Lee. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh! He's out! He got him! Woo! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, he saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 1 minute 39 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by... Roosh, the Dragon Lee! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. If you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands, that puts out your opponent's lights. And